now let's go ahead and see what all these mac header fields contain and what all these mac header fields basically mean so the first two bytes are taken by the frame control bit now frame control bit consists of all these subfields okay the first two bits are the protocol version now currently ieee 802.11 is using protocol version as 00 so these two bytes will be will contain 00 as the protocol version next comes the 2 byte type and 4 byte subtype okay now ieee has divided the wireless frames into three types currently three types are supported management type control type and data type and every type will have its own subtypes okay so management type will have its subtypes like beacon frames or probe request probe response authentication request authentication re response etc control frames will have its subtypes like rts cts acknowledgement cf pole etc and the data frame will have its again own subtypes like pure data or qos or quality of service data and so on so there is two byte type field for management the type field will have 00 for control frames the type field contain 01 and for data frames type field contain 10 then as i have explained there is a subtype field which is a 4 byte corresponding to every subtype one 4 byte number is reserved against that subtype now next comes to ds and from ds field if the packet is going from client to the access point then to ds field will have one value if the packet is coming from access point to the client the from ds field will have one value. for management packets and for control packets these 2ds and from ds fields will be 0 0 also for ad hoc connections these 2ds and from ds fields will be 0 0 next comes the more fragment field now now more fragment field will be set if more fragments are corresponding to the current frame if fragmentation is happening and there are some expected more fragments for the current frame that more fragment field will be set next comes the retry field if the current packet is a retry then this field will be set next comes the power management field these all fields are single byte field uh, these all fields are single bit fields by the way the power management field will be set when there is some change in power management mode so if client is in power save mode client will set this power management field next comes the more data field now this more data field will be used by access points to convey the data is buffered for the power management station next comes the more data field now this more data field will be used by access points and this field will be set so that the information will be conveyed to the client that some packets or some data packets are being buffered at the ap's end and this field will be used for power save clients next comes the protected field Pro protected field is again one bit field now if any kind of encryption is used for this packet then the protected field will be set now the last field is the order field if frame is sent with strictly order service class then this field will be set that's all about the frame control world so frame control contains protocol type subtype 2ds from ds more fragments retry power management more data protected and order fields next comes the duration or id field in power save pole frames this field is interpreted as a station id field and in all other frames it is interpreted as duration field and it will be used to calculate the nav vector now what is nav vector and how this duration field will matter for transmission there is a separate video on the importance of nav vector and the duration field you are requested to go ahead and watch that video 
now actually next comes the four address field address one address two address three and sequence control and then address four now what now what is the exact contain of this address field to know the exact contain of these address field you should be able to see the 2 day 2ds and from ds flags so when 2ds and from ds flags are both reset the address 1 is destination address address 2 is source address address 3 is bss id and address 4 is not applicable actually address 4 will be applicable only if 2ds and from ds both are set to 1 in that case it is a wds mode and in only wds mode all these four addresses are used generally in most of the frames only first three addresses address 1 address 2 and address 3 will be used okay a simple trick to remember in what which address will contain station address which address will contain access points address and which address will contain the host address now in any wireless frame which all addresses should be present if say client is talking with www.google.com server what all addresses will be present in mac layer address frame in simple ethernet layer address frame the source address will be your client's address the destination address will be the gateway's address next gateway's address okay the ethernet frame contains only two addresses source and destination so in most of the wireless frame three addresses will be present one address will be client's address one address will be again the next gateway's address for talking with google.com and third address will be called as bss id or the access points address now what is the sequence of these three addresses the sequence of these three addresses is, is not actually fixed but a simple trick to remember address 1 is always a destination address address 2 is always a source address and address 3 is generally the host address okay so in the 2ds frame 2ds frames are always sent by the client to the ap now the address 1 has to be a destination address now what is my next destination according to client the access point so the address 1 has to be bss id address 2 is always source address so address 2 will be my client's address or the source address and the third address will be the gateway's address destination address it is the final destination remember first address is the next destination which is going to receive the packet okay so if you consider from ds packets from ds packets are actually sent by the ap to the client but actually packet is generally not initiated by the ap but the packet is coming from some other host or it can be gateway as well so in from ds packet the address 1 has to be destination so address 1 will be the destination address or my client's address address 2 has to be the source source is the next source so address 2 has to be bss id see here it's a bss id and address 3 is the third address which is the gateway's address or some host mac or the machine which is which wants to communicate with the client okay so in 2ds frames and from ds frames these address fields are clear now let's go ahead to frames which contain 2ds and from ds both zero which are these frames these frames are generally the management or control type of frames okay now in management and control frames now the management and control frames are always exchanged between client and ap there is no other host involved in this okay so always my first address will be destination address second address will be source address and third address will be bss id so if i am transferring some management packets from ap to client okay then my first address will be destination that is client's mac second address is source that is ap's mac and third address is bss id so the simple way to remember which address is which address contain what mac first address is always next destination second address is always the source and third address is of course the remaining address okay 